What is going on, everybody? So I was literally just about to drop my next deep dive when I saw a notification in the Discord. Uh, someone looped me into this article. It's a big deal, and I'm still planning on releasing the deep dive here in a couple hours. Uh, call it 6 o'clock Eastern time. Um, but, man, this, this was a hammer from EA, and we've got news that this was coming. We didn't know exactly when. Uh, but here it is. This is EA's response to the furious fan base regarding the fixed Madden franchise movement and all of our requests and just rage about how there weren't any features for 21, how this game mode, that you've lied to us about updating it, it's worse now than it was 10 years ago. Like, how does this happen? What are you going to do about it? This is their response. And I'm a very emotional person. If you couldn't tell by the videos I've made and the, my Twitter reactions to a lot of this stuff. I'm just like all you guys, I want a better franchise mode. I'm always gonna be honest. I'm always gonna call a spade a spade. And I had tweeted out what I wanted to see from EA as far as this right here. What did I want this to look like? And I'm gonna be honest, it's very consistent with what EA released. And like I said, I am gonna give credit where credit is due. And this is an impressive list of promises, really. Now. Before we go through this, kind of review their, their news release here, I am going to point out there's still no new features that we're aware of for franchise mode in Madden 21. So if that pisses you off, you as a consumer need to make that decision that I'm not going to buy this game until this stuff is in the game. If you want to buy it off of, of these promises, I will say that it's it's incredibly unlikely that they would come out and say this things if say these things if they didn't truly have plans of implementing them because it's now on the record. Now there are little things like subject to change and uh, down here you've got uh, not fully committed yet. So that is going to be in the hands of the consumers on if franchise mode is worth it to you. And I'm gonna be very honest about that when the game comes out in my reviews of what is Madden 21 at launch, you still need to make those decisions for yourself. I strongly would not recommend going and pre-ordering the game um, based just off of this release. So now that that's out of the way, let's talk about what they have announced, what we're actually going to get, and what they're talking about doing potentially. Um, now, this was something right off the bat that I really wanted them to focus on. And that is basically, you know, increasing team bandwidth, uh, the ability to deliver. Like, there's so many simple things that I know these guys want to do, but they don't have the freedom and resources to do so. And I think whatever they list in here, the bigger issue here was the team themselves weren't getting the freedom and uh, resources to do so. so I, I do believe, I think of all the things in this release, the thing to put the most weight in is that they are making changes internally to legitimately improve what the team can accomplish. So to me, that was, that was honestly above telling us what features are coming. I mean, that's to sell the game, like telling us what features are coming. But as far as things getting better for the future, for them actually providing a simulation football game and not just an arcade game that we're at right now, I think this is a huge step. Um, so I, I really respect that that was acknowledged, that they're open and transparent about that. That's something I have always asked for from Madden is, tell us what's going on. How are you fixing this stuff? Like legitimately, structurally, what are you doing? So I, I appreciate some of that transparency. And then they do get into some of the features, which was another thing I said. I was like, first off, what are you doing structurally that's gonna improve how you can improve your game on a year to year basis, but also, what are you going to do to like actually improve franchise mode in Madden 21 and beyond? Like what features are you doing? And here we go. They get into this stuff. Uh, so this list may shift as our plans for 21 and 22 come more into focus. We will share with the community as the list evolves, but right now this is their plan. So none of this is in the game. They're not saying these features are added. These are post launch support subject to change. So take that as you will. This is a list that I am excited about, however. This is almost word for word everything that's been on my wish lists for years, the specific things that I have wanted for a long time. They're acknowledging that these are, these are gonna be a priority for us. So you're talking about um, regression and progression tuning. 
They they do that every year, but they they need to to you know focus on that more. Commissioner tools. This is this is huge. Um, they we'll we'll just skip down to that. Um, so ability to undo transactions, ability to approve trades. I'm assuming that's kind of like a force trade type of deal. Um, and then this to me is so big. I've wanted this for a long time for online leagues. Ability to reset a game in case of a disconnect. NCAA 14 had a continue versus the CPU mode. I can't tell you how many games we've had that you lose an hour worth of play over a disconnect. And it is so exhausting. So to have that would be so big. I really hope they add that. That's cool to me, especially for online leagues. Um, and then you have AI personnel management. AI just making better team decisions. I really hope a part of that, um, you know, if you're watching this EA, please put more thought into the edge outside linebacker defensive end considerations for teams. I'm sick and tired of seeing Leighton Van Der Esch signed to play edge and Khalil Mack signed to play off ball linebacker. Uh, you know, it's 2020. Please get on that. Um, that's maybe the one thing missing is an acknowledgement of modern edge terminology. Uh, improve uh, presentation. A lot of people are very passionate about this. I know Angry Joe is, or someone has pointed out the same Super Bowl celebration. Um, oh my God, this one, guys. How how angry have I been about this since the release of Madden 20? The ability to edit Superstar. Like that to me is something that should be able to be put in the game at launch. The fact that this was not in the launch of Madden 20 remains a mystery to me. Get this in the game ASAP, EA. This is a huge deal. A huge deal. The ability to edit abilities. And I'm not just saying that myself. I've talked to a lot of people that feel strongly about that. Um, you're going to get uh, career stats. I'm sure that Soft Drink Sports will be happy about that one. Better trade logic, retirement UI. This is all the core issue stuff that we need at the heart that makes franchise so rough right now. I just put out that video of what what's so bad about franchise mode. And so much of this is the stuff I was complaining about in that video. So I'm excited about that. This is all stuff that they, in theory, could be adding to Madden 21. And I've kind of talked about that, how when you come down here to things like you know, coaching staffs and improved scouting, like those are overhauls, right? We're not gonna get that for Madden 21, but if we can get this stuff by, I don't know, mid-October, and you've legitimately updated all of these things, now that you're, you got your engineers working on franchise mode and not face of the franchise, like that would be major. So that's all good news. Again, it's up to you guys to buy Madden 21 off of what's in the game and what you expect to come. So take all this with a grain of salt. I, if I wasn't a Madden YouTuber and I didn't have to have the game for a review and all that stuff, I would personally, I mean, especially if I have a PC and you can play it modded like I've been just starting my new series, I would wait until the first... I would wait until the first patch update at least to see if they start to put some of this stuff in and stay true to your word. Um, so that's just what I would recommend to you guys. Um, then we have what they're discussing for the future. And I really hope they're genuine about this. It, I understand from their perspective, it's really difficult. They're still dealing with the launch of 21. For them to come out and announce a, a surefire feature set for Madden 22, I understand why they can't um, like just do that. Logistically speaking, it it's puts a lot of stress on the entire franchise team in general especially if they need to deliver on this stuff too so that's it's all organic and growing but i love that these are the first two things they list if you go back and look at my tweet um you know projection of what i i want to hear these were the two features that i said you know tell us what's coming from madden 22 coaching staff scouting improvements this is like word for word almost what i what i had wrote for them basically and i like that these are the top two because you know I, from what i've gathered um, and honestly, I don't know if scouting improvements would be my number two. Coaching staff, management, and skill trees consistent with NCAA 14 is my number one. But a lot of people want scouting improvements. And I'm glad that those are number one and number two. Um, scenario engine enhancements, like how is that not? In Madden 21, like how did you not build upon the scenario engine? It's just ridiculous. Um, but this is, this is cool. I, I would say all of these things would be big features for Madden 22. If, if they could deliver on, I would say, you know, deliver on this for sure. I We need this for 22. 
need, need, need. And then if they deliver on, you know, one or two of these, that's that's all we want. We want year-to-year improvement. We, we don't want Madden 20 to Madden 21 or you don't even touch the game mode. Um, and then they're announcing a new way to give feedback. This is cool. Um, it's, it's similar to the beta feedback uh, where you can kind of upvote stuff and uh, can, you know, give them the feedback they need to hear. Uh, they're going to kind of improve their way of collecting feedback, which is good. Like to, to maximize the efficiency on how they uh, gather feedback and make sure that it's, you know, a collective feedback thing. If, if something has a bunch of upvotes, a lot of people have those opinions or are having that problem. So I think it's a good change for them to make. Um, so overall, guys, good news. I have not been this positive about Madden for a long time. I, I again, would not recommend you go pre-order the game because of this. I, I would still be, I am still mad that there's nothing at launch for Madden 21 for franchise mode. In theory, though, we should be getting it. So that is my reaction to the news. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, enjoy the deep dive that I'll be posting in about two hours and hit that like button down below. Peace out, guys.